Sawadee took Konka Dutch how hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Today, everyone, a very exciting video. I am joined by the one, the only, Crew Smook from Banana Thai. Saudi Kha Crew Smook. Saudi Kha from Victoria, Saudi Kha Takon. Hi, everyone. And she's very, very kindly going to be answering some questions today as well as giving us a little taster of some Thai, well, a Thai sentence and then breaking it down for us. There will be affiliate links down below so you can go to her platform and you can sign off one of her lessons, sign off one of her packages, and also just subscribe to her channel. It's all gonna be down there, so do check that out. Blue Smoke, thank you for answering these questions today. And we're just gonna kick off straight away. So the first one is, why did you become a Thai teacher? So I didn't actually plan to become a Thai teacher from the beginning, but um, actually I wanted to work in the inter international political field. Ah. Like, you know, like UN, something like that, because I started politics. Mm -hmm. However, during my um, university year, I decided to hang out with exchange students from my school, and they are from everywhere around the world. And then as a person, I love learning languages myself, and I started to help them you know, learn some Thai words, some Thai sentences, and then, you know, I ended up hosting a group lesson for them. Mm -hmm. And then they really, really enjoyed it, and I also enjoyed it myself as well. That's why I started to teach Thai language from, you know, teaching my friends. Yes. Oh, wow. I love that you did politics. <laughs> I was always interested in politics as well at uni. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, why did you decide to start your own business? So back then when I say when I was teaching Thai language, I started with one-on-one -on -one first and then the group, right? And then after that, when Zoom and Skype are running, I decided to move it online because mm. it gives me the flexibility, also give the student flexibility as well. And then after that, right after I graduated in 2019, I decided to make one video, just like a video and post it on my YouTube channel for the first time. And then it was, you know, like the result from that video, there are a lot of people who get the values out of my video. They enjoy learning, they learn something new. And it really made me feel like, wow, actually I can make a big impact while, you know, like by provide access, providing access to everyone around the world. So I decided to move it to Zoom. And then afterward, I'm thinking my, my time is so limited. I cannot just teach everyone. <laughs> And it, even though I would love to, so I decided to create online lessons. So yeah, that's why I started from the private lessons, one-on-one, -on -one, in person, to the self-paced online program. Mm. Yes. I like the, the different steps it took you to get to where you are. It was very, it seems like a very natural progression. And I'll say from it my is, yeah. from my perspective as well, that's how I found you. So it was through your videos and podcasts. I was like, oh, this, this crew is quite cool. Who is this? Thank you, Yeah, and also by, you know, from the beginning, I used um, books that are already like available in the market in the bookstores so I used that book to teach my students but then after that I started to recognize that there are still a lack of you know some let's say I'm, I'm not saying lack of good material because they are good mm -hmm. but from teaching for a while like a couple years I started to feel like I better create my own materials so I started to do the course content so so far in Banana Thai School we have already six courses and one of the courses, the intensive Thai course, is my first course ever that I, you know, try to gather some information from my experience of teaching as well as other sources. So, um, yeah, I think this really, really helped me a lot with teaching by having my own materials. Yes. And I will say as well, I mean, my subscribers know this. <laughs> I feel very strongly that there aren't enough resources or enough good resources for Thai compared to, so I learned, I speak Chinese as well, and there's so much out there for Chinese compared to Thai. Uh -huh. So definitely your resources, hands down. I've already done a video about one of them, so check that out, it's hands down. Too, right? Yes. <laughs> so check that video out as well. Is definitely, I was like, 
holy grail finally we have some good listening especially listening practice is so hard for Ty definitely kudos kudos <laughs> how did you choose the name banana tie mm, this is also one of the most frequently asked from my student <laughs> why banana tie like the first thing that it might make you surprised i don't do not eat bananas but i still <laughs> name my yeah i do not eat bananas but that's why like when my friends knew that i don't eat bananas they always ask so, but why your business is banana Thai? It is because the word banana can be used as a slang in Thai language as well. So, what is the word banana in Victoria? In Thai? Banana. Yeah. Oh, now you put me on the spot. Mm. No, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. Blue. I, I was going to say that as well. I was like, is it that? Am, am I right? <laughs> Gloy. Chai? Exactly. Mm. That is glue is banana, right? And in Thai language, glue represents something easy because you know we have um, how do you say a saying saying mm -hmm. like ngai uh. means to peel. Mm -hmm. And glue is the banana, like ngai as easy as blog. Blue eye, which is like to peel the banana, how about get it in the mouth and eat it? So that's why I decided to 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 name my school like banana Thai because I want to represent Thai language as something easy as peeling banana and eat it. Oh. But um, no one, no, not many people knows about it. But I I hope that this name is also quite catchy, right? Yeah, no, I, I like the meaning actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh. I can teach you right now to like the phrase This is a little bit too long But you can shorten it to Gloi Gloi Can you say? Ah, Gloi Gloi Exactly So if you want to say like something easy peasy You say like oh, Gloi Gloi Means oh, Ngai Ngai Definitely, I love the name And especially now I know the meaning behind it I'll be like okay, Banana Thai, I get it What was the biggest challenge since opening Banana Thai school? I think there are two main challenges since opening Banana Thai School. The first thing is like, well, I don't really look at it as a challenge, but I think it's part of running a business is to get to know the, um, how do you say, the customer. In this case, for me, it's my student. How to understand their needs, their personalities, their behavior, their lifestyle, and trying to provide a solution or something in this case for my business is self-paced online course to you know to, to to solve that problem which is want to learn thai language but maybe play far maybe have a flexible schedule maybe doesn't like having a teacher <laughs> so that's why I, I decided to do this but um it takes quite a while in order to get to know the the, 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 the customer or my students but um i think this is an ongoing process that I have to keep doing. Even right now, we have courses. I still, you know, I still ask for your feedback. So this is something that you will, it's not easy to know what what, ex what exactly they want. Hmm. So that would be my, my, my first, I would say, challenge. Yeah. The second challenge that I used to have, but no longer a challenge anymore was, in the past, learning online, was something that not really how do you say preferable for people yes when you want to learn the language I totally I totally understand because I'm a language learner too people tend to want to learn in person mm -hmm. right they want to have a teacher in front which is I understand this is not something bad right because people learn differently but on the other hand there are also some people that are able to do the self-paced learning style and at the beginning, it's really hard for me to convince my my students or everyone to say to 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 join my program, because they're like, oh, if I have a class, if I can go to the class, why do I need the online materials? Do why do I need the online teaching? But um, thanks to COVID, that was one of the good things <laughs> that actually helped me. <laughs> Most of the things are not good. But, yeah. Um, Thanks to COVID for this case that um, it allowed me to present my products and many people get to know me during the lockdown and during the pandemic. 
work from home. So since then, everything. I think the communication is better as well, mm-hmm. as I can say that it's actually possible. Let you try it, and and you can see. So um, that was the challenge to convince people that self learning is also a good option. I'm not saying the best option, but mm-hmm. also a good option. Mm, I definitely agree that the pandemic has allowed things like mm-hmm. Zoom to like really change how we do things. Mm-hmm. For me personally, I haven't really had an issue with learning online because my teachers are all based in country. So my Chinese teachers in China and my Thai teachers in Thailand. So I love mm-hmm. doing it online because then it's more flexible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the how do you say the online world, the internet actually make us more interconnected and. It's it's much easier right now. Yeah, 100%. As, as a student for you too, right? To to get in touch with the with the teachers. Yeah, definitely, because I can do it at my own pace then. And with lockdown, I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I was stuck. Bye. bye. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. So, what is the best thing or part about your job? The best thing. Hmm. I actually love my job so much. <laughs> Ding ding! Like honestly, like, I really love what I'm doing. The best thing that I could think right now is every day I create values. I I have a chance to help people. You know what I mean? Like I'm very happy if I knew that all of the words, effort, and time, energy, and passion are put together, and somebody can receive it. Somebody can. Can get the values out of it. It, have, it doesn't have to be like a, such a big thing, but even like a comment from the video, if they say, "Oh, I've been looking for this. Now I understand this," it's already made my day because I knew that you know everything is worth it yeah. to you know yeah <laughs> to 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 put so much energy in it. And I think every occupation and jobs always. Create values, mm-hmm. but by teaching, I can I can feel it directly from from my students, and it makes me fulfilled every day with with this job. As a receiver of like lessons, when I'm watching or listening, your passion definitely shines through, and I do think that was one of the things that does draw me to it because. You can tell the difference between the lessons that are just very robotic and are like, I don't, listen, I'm already struggling learning. I don't want to have to listen to torture compared to someone who genuinely does enjoy it. And I'm like, hey, I want to listen to another lesson. That does shine Thank through. You. Thank you so much. With my other interviews, I want us to end on a positive note for those watching, some advice piece. So I was really just wondering what advice would you give to either someone who was in your position or your younger self? So from my part, I have to advise. Is it okay? Yeah, <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, to, uh, what do you know? Now, the first advice I would tell it to myself firstly that how do you say the skill of mm-hmm. the skill of self learning is important. It's not only about languages. It's any. It's for any skills. But if you can learn by yourself, you create the how do you say thinking process. You practice yourself. Your how do you call it disciplines in order to keep things going. So I think self learning is is one of the thing, and that's actually make me, you know, today because I I didn't I didn't learn business. I didn't learn how to do video marketing. I video about editing, marketing, Thai teaching, or whatever. But everything come from an experience of keep doing it. So. Self-learning and <laughs> preservation is, is important. So um, this was my first advice, and the second one is never afraid of doing anything or trying, because mm-hmm. you will never know whether it works or not. And if it doesn't work, you know that this way doesn't work at least. So yeah. you always learn from it. So I would like to you know help and con- encourage everyone to to do whatever that you feel like doing. Or learning, also learning Thai as well. It might. I know the Thai language is not the easiest language, right? Con Victoria. <laughs> right, but. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
if you keep doing it, if you try it, then you will get better. You will only get better. So that 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 would be two two of my advice. Self learning and just do it. Ah, very good advice for us to end on. Oh, yeah. As promised, Kruismuk will be teaching us now. I think it was a couple of sentences and then breaking them down. So let's just buckle up, get the notebook, get the pen, and let's start. As I am an entrepreneur, I have my own business. I would like to teach you words according to business. So today I prepare two sentences. Actually, it's actually from my side, these two sentences. The first sentence is, I want to say that I run a business uh, opening a Thai language school. So I tell you the first the sentence and then I will break down the words. So if I want to say, I run a business opening a Thai language school in Thai, I would say, Shan Tham Turaki so it's quite long but I will try to you know pick one part the first part is Chantam Turaki the word Turaki 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 means business Tam business means to do business or to run business Chantam Turaki and if you want to say that your business is online business then you can just put the word online to the kit online so you say Shantam to the online I run online business and then the second part is so the word Rongrian you know what does it mean Rongrian Rongrian means school right but means to open or found so but Rongrian son to teach Pasa Thai, Thai language. But Rongrian Son Pasa Thai means opening or founding a school that teaching Thai language. So listen again, practice listening. Shan Tam Turakit. But Rongrian Son Pasa Thai Ka. Ah, so this is the first sentence. Now come to the second sentence, very, very quick one. So I want to teach you the word self paced program. Ah, because I think you know, let's say program as in course, like learning course. So learning course in Thai is totally easy because it's a loan word. We use the word caught. <laughs> caught come from the word course, right? But Thai people cannot pronounce as ending consonant. We use the dotic sound instead. So instead of saying course, we say card, right? Card. So card, uh, course. And then self learning. The word self is doi tua e. Uh, with doi tua e mean myself. So doi tua e means self. And learn in Thai is rian. So rian doi tua e means self learning. So cause means self-learning course and course means Thai course you know Thai self-paced learning course you can learn many different words from these two sentences I hope I hope you I hope everything is good <laughs> Thanks for having me here. No problem. So that is the end of today's interview. And as I did say, all links are down below. They are affiliate links, just as a FYI. But do definitely go over to Kruismuk's platforms, listen to her podcast, watch her videos, sign up for her packages, <laughs> attend her classes, and you'll be fluent in no time, I'm sure. So I just want to say another massive thank you. So thank you again, Kopkunka Kruismuk. I really appreciate it. And... I suppose as always goodbye i hope you enjoyed the video please do smash the like the share and the subscribe tell your friends tell your family drop in the comments what you thought was there any pieces of advice anything that you learned that you didn't know is there anyone else you would like to see me interview or is there anything else you would like to see me make a video about do drop those all down below as always 
have a blessed day and until next time Saudi Tup Konka Zai Jian. Goodbye everyone.